Hello, this is Alpizza. Welcome to episode number 17 of my Total War Shogun to Shimazu Let's Play. So in the last episode, we were able to defeat an invading army from the Shosokabe clan, uh, which was attacking Bungo Castle. And now we are having to defend against another army, invading army, from the Sakai clan or whatever these guys are. Yeah, Sakai attackers. So this army is much weaker and yeah. We're not, we're defending, but they still took a castle from us because we didn't have nearly enough units to defend. So it would have just been a waste of time on the video if we were to fight these guys. So yeah, we're going to fight these guys now. They are attacking us because we were, a, we were going to starve them out and they don't want to get starved out, I guess. <laughs> Who wants to get starved out? Um, so yeah, we're going to try to do our best and defeat them. I think it's going to be pretty easy though, because you're going to have a lot of uh, Yari Ashigaru, but that's going to be easy to fight. It's not going to be a hard, hard thing to do. And since they're coming at us, we're going to be able to defend. We can defend this hill, for example, but I'm not going to. I don't want to defend any hill. We're going to be fighting over here because this hill, I don't really like the shape of it. I think it's going to be pretty awkward to defend on it. Look at that. That would be such a good place to defend. Wow. Anyways, um, we're going to put our units like this. We're going to have our Yari Ashigaru in a spear formation. Like that. And they're going to defend. And we are going to be putting our uh, Shimazu Katana Samurai on the side to flank the enemy with our archers okay so we're gonna put them over here actually like that yeah it's much better okay so since they have very very small cavalry made of just their general we can easily defeat their cavalry so we're gonna try to do just that all right now let's let them come to us let's fast forward because it's going to take a while, a while for them to come to us. Cause I don't think they're running. They're just walking, yeah. Okay, well, if you're going to walk, walk. We're going to wait for them. Yeah, the Yari Ashigaru are going to take quite a beating here. But it's going to be worth it. I mean, they don't have that many archers. But still, they still have like five, so... Also, we're going to have to take care of their, uh, let's just pause the game, their firebomb throwers. We're going to have to fire on them with our archers and focus them, try to kill them as fast as we can. So yeah, they have a, a line of archers in the front. That's basically all their archers in the front. Then just a whole bunch of infantry in the, in the back. And yeah, we're going to move these guys a little bit closer to the fight like that and these guys are gonna move them preemptively over here let's go so yeah the samurai I'm not gonna put them in the front anymore because I think it's much more affordable to lose some Yari Ashigaru at the beginning than to lose um, some very very important oh they're starting to fire at us now So that's not good. Yeah, they're dealing way too much damage. We're gonna have to take these guys off of their formation. And try to be more aggressive because these archers... What are you even doing? Okay, we're gonna have to charge. Uh, I, I really, really don't like the damage these guys are dealing to me. So we're gonna have to charge. Okay, cavalry come here, you guys fire on their firebomb throwers, I don't even care what you have to do, you have to kill these guys. Okay, so the fight has started, now let's try to have, get a really quick charge on the Yari Ashigaru, should make them break and run away, yep they're broken already. Now their general is not doing the right thing and he's actually charging at us, well. If you want to charge at me, I'm going to charge at you. Look at that. Okay. 
Perfect. Um, okay, you guys need to defend over here. Okay. You guys. Yeah, he's in grave danger, but their general is in much, much greater danger. Okay, you guys are gonna start to flank them. Where is the... Kill, kill the things... Uh, what's their name? I completely forgot their name. Uh, the guys with the fire. <laughs> the guys with the fire. What the fuck? Uh, I just don't know what their name is. Where are they? We have to kill them. Wherever they are, I think they're just dead. They just died. Maybe. Okay. You guys go into skirmish formation. You guys fire at them. You guys charge at them over here. Charge, charge, charge. Their general has fallen. Now we just have to make a very, very good charge at them. And it's gonna just get a mass route. At least it should get a mass route. Yeah, look at that. They're starting to run away. So yeah, in these field battles, getting... Killing their general is just... An instant win or something. I mean, they just... They just start to run away like crazy in this game. Look at that. We were not even doing that great. And suddenly, because we killed our general, they start to run away like little kids. Not like little kids. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. What am I even saying? <laughs> um, like scared the chicken. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, let's just start to run after them. So yeah, as I said, this was going to be a very easy battle, and I didn't lie. This is was a very, very easy battle. Okay, go, go, go. We have to run after them. We cannot allow them to stay alive after this battle. Well, we can't allow them to stay alive, because they're not going to be able to run away anyways. So if they die... They're just gonna come back and uh, to their castles and try to do something, you know, to defend. But then they're just gonna be in such a bad shape. We're gonna starve them out, and they're gonna die anyways. Very good, very good. Look at that. How many people are dying for the Shusukabe, for the Shimazu clan? It's all for the honor of the clan, man. You have to do it. I mean, I know it's a lot of people dying just. For for the glory of the clan, but we have to do it, we have to do it. This is the Shimazu clan, and we are not going to let them uh, attack us like that. No, 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 that's not gonna happen. Okay, so let's just let these guys kill them as much as we can. Is there any more left? A couple of them over here. Oh, come on, okay. Um, general, go and run after... Who can you run after? That's like two guys, it's nothing. The men are fatigued, okay. my lord! And some must rest! Alright, this is good. This is good enough. Close victory! Whoa, we just destroyed them. That's not even a... That's not even remotely a close victory. So I don't know what the game is saying over here. <laughs> that's not even remotely a close victory. We completely destroyed them. We did lose a Uyari Ashigaru, but we completely destroyed them. Mitsuke increases in rank. No, we do not want to enlist you. Okay, so now they just have a couple of people defending here, so we're gonna auto resolve. And hope we don't lose too much. So we lost 44, we lost another Uyari Ashigaru, but that's okay. It happens. Alright. We're gonna have to repair. Alright, this Mitsuke got ranked up, so we're gonna try to get him overseeing towns, yes, this is good. And overseeing towns, more overseeing of towns, that's very good. Now, this one also got ranked up, so we are going to give him apprehending, nope. Overseeing towns, yes, that's very good, more overseeing of towns. Non-stop overseeing of town. That's basically our strategy, guys. Okay, um... This guy also is ranked up. Let's try to get him some overseeing of towns. Wow, perfect score. Just amazing, right? 
You guys go over there. Agents. Oh, more agents are ranked up. And is it a perfect score? Yes. Overseeing of towns. Because that's going to make it... Um, it's going to make him better at the whole thing. So that's really, really good, you know. Alright, now let's try to get some more economy going. Here in the Mastery of the Arts, we're going for the Shonindo. Shonindo, yeah. Okay, next turn. Good, so we were able to push back both invaders. Oh my god, another army from the Shosokabe clan. These guys will never leave you alone. It's actually extremely annoying. Wow. Okay, well... We're gonna have to fight them. So what can I do? This army, I don't think it's gonna be enough. But if I combine them with this army... Then things start to change. And I maybe can get some of these guys. No, I can't. Alright. Um, so here in Bungo. We cannot really afford to get these guys out. But we're going to have to try. Okay. So you guys go over there. I'm going to take all this army. Move them over here. And as soon as they land, we're going to have to meet them. Like this. Okay. So. We're fighting here with... Three cavalry. Four units of Yaya Shigaru. Four units of Kana Samurai. And uh, three units of archers. So we have as many archers as them, but they have samurai archers. We have, I think, better infantry. Ah, let's just fight this battle. I, I mean, we're going to see what happens. I hope we can defeat them too. Because I can't really afford to lose a single battle. That's how, that's how scary it is um, in this campaign. Is that if you lose a big army... The, uh, the AI is going to just take advantage of you so effectively because he, he cheats. He doesn't have to care that much about, uh, for example, happiness or something. He can just roll over all of your towns so fast compared to what I can do, for example. You know, I can't do that. I cannot do the same thing that he does. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Alright, so they're just going to stay here and wait for me. What are really uh, is good in this battle is that they don't have that many archers and that's what really uh, basically scares me about the Shosokabe is that they have some very good archers, that's one of their faction traits. So we cannot uh, really fight a very big Shosokabe army that effectively at least. Okay, now, how am I going to do this? I think we have a pretty decent infantry. But the thing is that they have also some pretty decent cavalry uh, compared to last time. So we're not going to be able to take out their general that easily. But we're going to try. We're going to have to try to take out their general because that's really one of the only ways you can beat these guys because they spam units like crazy they just get so many units and you try to do something against that you know you, you I just defeated a very strong army and like a couple of turns later they just come back like nothing happened you know they're just back at it like it wasn't even a fight you know like it was just some easy like a five unit army that you just killed it was a full stack of 20 units with a lot of very they even had experience like there were some pretty good units and i just don't understand why do you just keep they just keep <laughs> um attacking you with more armies like nothing happened but anyways 
we're gonna have to kill this army and after that I think they're gonna leave us alone for some time. At least they should. Because I don't like that. I don't like how we just get getting attacked and we can't even do anything because the boats there they just go so far and so fast that you can't really defend all of your provinces at the same time because all of our provinces are coastal provinces so if they attack us they're gonna deal a lot of damage because they can just attack wherever we are weaker so that's not good you know okay so how am I gonna do this uh, we're gonna move all the way over here alright let's go Alright, so just outside outside the range, but I think that maybe these guys have a bigger range. I'm not certain about it. Okay, so they're, they're not starting to fire, so that means they're, they're not in range yet. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Since we are in loose formation, we might have a chance against them. Oh, they have fire arrows. Now we're really fucked. Look at that, just one volley. Wow, it, this is just, this is crazy. We're not gonna be able to do this. Okay, um... Move, move over here. Run, at least. Okay. Okay. Katana Samurai move over here and our cavalry on the same side as the other Katana Samurai. Actually, since now they're firing normal arrows, we might be able to do something against them. Alright, let's spread our units as much as we can. Alright, let's move up, because now they're starting to target our Katana Samurai and they're dealing a lot of damage as always. Alright, Katana Samurai move on these guys over here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to break them over here okay so we broke their archers we're gonna go into formation okay archers Start. Okay, you guys go into. Okay, archers, start to fire at. Where are they? At these guys. Fire bomb throwers. Okay. These guys are going to attack over there. Alright, now we're gonna try to have a charge at their general. Oh, I mean, this is a light cavalry unit. So we're gonna try to break them. At least deal a lot of damage to them. You guys go in the back like this. You guys go over here. Alright, you guys go away. Go away. We don't wanna fight them over there. Alright, you guys charge in the back. That should make this guy's break. Come on, break, break. Okay, they're broken. These guys move back. Try to help our units over here. Um, okay, you guys go back. You attack them. Archers are getting attacked. You guys fire at them. Katana Samurai, go back. Alright. We're starting to make them break. Ok. 
Okay, you guys fire at their general. All right, our cavalry is coming back. They're starting to break on all sides. Very good. Very good. Okay, battle has been won once again because we are the Shibazo clan. Yay! All right, that was also bloody battle. So we're gonna try. Oh, we can't catch their general at least. Oh, that's that's really not good. Okay, you guys stop firing. I don't want any friendly fire. Okay. Yep. Now you just have to run after them and kill as many as possible, as always. Okay. Yeah, that was actually much better than I thought it would go. We were able to catch their archers at the beginning, which was really good. Because these archers, if they kept firing, that wouldn't have been a very good thing for us. Alright. So yeah, a costly victory. That was meh, more or less a costly victory. We were able to do some pretty good work with our cavalry. We were able to um, catch the firebomb throwers, guys, and stop them from firing, which would have done a lot of damage. Oh, but we lost the Shimazu. Ah, that's not good. Let's just go after them again. Auto resolve. We might lose a couple of men. I hope not. Okay, we lost zero men. So yeah, another Shosokabe uh, army has been destroyed. So yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of battles we have to fight to defend our homeland. But we're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna do it, even if we have to fight even more. We're gonna have to do it. All right, so here we have five thousand. Wow, we have such a big income. Oh, okay, because you have this thing. Yeah, this is very good actually. Plus twenty-five percent wealth generated by all buildings across all provinces, and that was the mission that they gave us. And basically, we got that mission because we took back Tsukushi. So that's why. Anyways, um, yeah, basically, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to stay updated with new videos on my channel, uh, consider subscribing to it. And yeah, if you have any comments in the comment section, it's going to be very, um, very good if you put them there. And I'm going to go and answer you as fast as I can. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to see you in episode number 18. And we're going to continue to build up uh, Kyushu Island. You know, we have a lot of markets we can still build. We have a lot of um, uh, basically... Uh, food so we can still build a lot of our markets upgrade them Get a bigger army and then we march on the enemy officially. So yeah, I'm gonna see you next episode